hello everyone welcome again and uh, in this tutorial i'm going to start a new series on uh, java web application development so step by step video uh, we will uh, i will record the videos and i will may try to make a tutorial and complete project how to create a complete project from first so in this tutorial i'm going to uh, show you how to create an uh, environment and how to set up uh, a machine for a project java project development and the very next tutorial we will see step by step how to design different different pages and all the things so let's start and uh, first uh, uh, we need some resources like uh, as a id i'm going to use sts tool so or you can use eclipse also any any tool uh, which will you prefer sts is very handy for me so i will use that sts tool it's a very easy and uh, good tool to develop java application and the next next thing we need a server so i'm going to use the tomcat server tomcat server you can use any version or uh, like uh, tomcat 8.0 or 8.5 something as a tool i'm going to use a maven tool so we are not going to just add any plugin so uh, in ss tool it already in build so we will use the tool and uh, next thing as a architecture we will follow that mbc architecture so in this video i'm going to show you how to set up that uh, complete environment and uh, so we need a uh, first of all we need s2s tool so you just open your google and uh, go to download uh, for search for sts tool download and uh, open that very first link and you can check here in this uh, website you can download that uh, sts tool the latest release version uh, select your uh, operating system which are you using like if you are using my windows you can uh, download the windows file like click on this and select your uh, bit of uh, your operating system like if you are using 32 bits you can download this zip file if you are using 64 bit you can download that zip file or uh, if you are using mac operating system you can go here and download this dmg file and if you are using linux you can use the gz files so uh, i am not going to download it because i have already this tool and after downloading you will get uh, a RAR file, I'm going to show you the RAR file and I have a property. Is there an STS tool? Yeah, there you can see the STS tool and um, a Spring tool suit. And when you are going to extract it, just right click and click on extract here. And when you extract it, the, the folder will be here STS bundle. Just open this folder and look for this folder STS 3.9.1 release open this folder and just search for the icon sts just, just double click on this sts tool and uh, it will launch the id with it very first <coughs> another thing you need a tomcat server so download tomcat 8.0 i'm going to use that 8.0 so just open the uh, very first link uh, tomcat.apache.org So here you can see the different different version. Uh, sorry, it's uh, only one version at, at 0.5.30. Uh, if you want a previous version, you can click on here at 0 0.0. So here is a different different uh, words, different different files are there according to your operating system. If you are using uh, uh, Linux or something, so you can use the tar.gz file or uh, if you are using that Windows like I'm using so you can download this 64 bit and this is download this after downloading you need to copy in somewhere in your machine so in my C drive uh, you can see I have already download and extract that file here and paste that file here to get Apache Tomcore 8.0.47 so I think my ID is launched already so you can see the ID is uh, similar to Eclipse and especially developed to develop an uh, Java Spring applications. So we can develop dynamic web application also here, uh, the, um, Maven application also. 
so I'm going to create a new Maven application before that uh, okay just I'm going to create a new web application demo application when we require the server we'll configure the server with this tool so just right click or uh, just click on file and go on a new and just click on that Maven project at very first if you didn't get that Maven project here just go on other and search here for Maven you can see the first folder here Maven just uh, click on and uh, click on the next you need to if you want to set the location you can set we just set so we are going not going to develop in java desktop application so we are going to develop in web app so just select that maven apache type that is web app 1.0 then click on next then you need to insert a group id group id is uh, and next is uh, artifact id so artifact id is uh, java it will be your project name so java web application development java web application is your project name so you can here enter the java application name and you can see the package name here called java web application it will be your combination of your group id and artifact id click on just finish so STS tool is going to create a maven project for you configure the maven project here you can see the processing here 0 0.17 and something it's developing automatic everything for you so you can see here there is some errors are there i'm going to show you so the error is like uh, java x dot servlet http dot http servlet was not found on the java build path so it's not getting the path of that uh, servlet library so we need to import some libraries here so manually we don't need to do that we just uh, edit the pom.xml file which is manage all of our libraries so we need some dependencies so just click on the dependence and dependencies you can see here only one dependency are there judge it so we need to add one more dependency it's called that servlet so just go on that pom.xml and here we need to enter that uh, dependency so just open your browser again and search for servlet servlet dependency and the very first link is myvandipository.com and open that link and uh, select that you can see here if you are opening this link on another link just select the current library current version of that particular library and just copy that complete code and uh, just come on again in browser and inside the dependencies tape you need to pass your code here and i'm going to save this you can see that it is this is all automatic yeah so working validating zero percent okay the error is resolved automatic but you can see the complete folders are not there there is only java resources are there inside this java resources only one src main resources are there because by default it's using 1.5 version so we need to change our build path as a 1.8 version so just right click on that project and go on your build path configure build path here you can see it's using jre j 2 ac 1.5 just click on that click on edit and select here 1.8 click on finish apply close you can see the three folders are there different folders are there but when error is it's a, just ignore that error because it's not exact error so just ignore this it will work fine or you can set the uh, set the project fact also so and project fake java is using 1.5 so i'm going to enter edit it as a 1.8 click on apply click on apply and close so you can see that error is already gone so now the project is ready a demi project is ready there is a the jsp file index or jsp file inside that web, web inside that web app folder or uh, the, it's printing a message hello world and uh, we need to run that project so we need a, a server 
so by default it's using that uh, uh, server but uh, we are going to configure the tomcat server so how to configure the tomcat server we have already downloaded this and uh, pressed it on a particular location so i'm using in c drive location so you can also use on any other location so just open it again and just go in that server menu or uh, server tab or if you didn't get this here just open your window just click on this window so view and search here for the server if you didn't get just go on other and search for server so the server is here just like that server click on open so the tab is view here just right click on the blank space and select the new server and select apache and select the version which you have downloaded recently so i downloaded 8.0 so select 8.0 click on next and you need to browse that particular path so my path is already set in c drive there is a apache 8.0.47 and this is the name of the server click on next and finish So you can see the server is here. So I'm going to start the server and check it's working or not. Okay. So server is working. Server is started. Uh, so I'm going to run that file, then run that project. So right click on the project, click on the run as and run on server. Just select that server, click next and finish. So you start the server. Okay. Okay. The application is working very fine. As uh, input is here, hello world. You can see. So <coughs> if the the setup is done. Uh, if you need database, we will configure and uh, we will configure the database in next upcoming video. So we will, uh, easy, we will, we can connect that uh, application with database also. And very next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, make an architecture of MVC architecture in your project, like how to manage that folders, uh, what is a model folder and the controller folder and view folders. So. Uh, 